Now we all know Creality and they're a company that's famous for 3D printers, but they've been in the laser business now for a couple of years and their products have continued to improve. And until recently, the flagship was the Creality Falcon 2 and it's a fine laser, but now they've announced a new one, the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. So is it really a pro laser or are they just trying to upsell you with a few more gadgets? Let's take a look. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now I'll be honest with you, I reviewed the regular Falcon 2 not that long ago, so I was very cautious about reviewing another laser called a Creality Falcon 2. But Creality assures me that this is truly a pro laser. It's got some additional features. It's not just a bunch of things bolted together to try and lure you into buying a more expensive laser. There are things here that, that they claim will make the, a big difference if you're working in a, in a a more professional environment. So in this video, what I wanna do is look at those individual features and see if they are truly cohesive to create a pro package or whether they really are just trying to lure you into, into spending money. And with that, we can get rolling here. Let's take a look at the very first obvious difference between this Falcon 2 Pro and the Falcon 2, and that's the addition of the enclosure itself. Now they went to a lot of effort to create this fancy roll top and I wondered why. But when you open it, you have lots of access inside the laser as well as a space above the laser so that you don't have a lid that hits on something. Now, the way they did this was they have this really fancy aluminum extrusion frame and it works really well. Now, on the downside, they have a USB connector for the camera sticking out, out the side of the laser cabinet. And that to me seems kind of weird. It would just be nicer if they had wired the camera directly into the controller and then had a single USB cable out of the laser. Right now there's two, and that means in order to run the camera and the laser, you need a USB hub. So I think they could have done better there, but it, it's well packaged and it's certainly well built. Now, sticking with the, the enclosure theme here, they've added this drawer underneath, which you can pull right out and take all the crumbs that are left over from cutting, empty it out, and then slide it back in. It, it's really easy to do, which is nice. And I think Creality did a great design here. Now let's talk about the laser module, or should I say laser modules, because there are two of them. There's of course that first gargantuan 40 watt module, which is excellent for cutting, and it's actually pretty good for engraving, but they include a second module, this tiny 1.6 watt module, which is the same one they include in their 3D printers. And you might ask yourself, why on earth would I want a 1.6 watt laser module? Because that's so five years ago. Well, here's the reason. If you look at a 40 watt laser module, really any 40 watt laser module, the beam size is gonna be roughly 0.1 millimeter, 0.1 up to 0.15 millimeters tall. And that means you're limited at most to about 250 lines per inch of resolution. By comparison, the 1.6 watt module, the, the beam height is 0.05 millimeters. So twice the resolution, we're talking 500 lines per inch. And that means that you're gonna get a, a lot better resolution on, a, on an image engraved. Now I took the two laser modules and I engraved that image of, of the dog. And the first one here is the 40 watt. And you can see it's not bad, but then when you look at the 1.6 watt module, it is so much crisper. It's just such a nice image. And that's why you're gonna want both of these laser modules. So kudos to Creality for putting these in the box. So the last pro feature I wanna talk about on the Falcon 2 Pro is the use of the camera. It's built in, it just comes with the laser, which is nice. It's sitting right in the top of the lid uh, in the center of the workspace. So it's easy to calibrate. You, you go into Lightburn and you run the camera tools and get it set up. And then you can use it to find space on, on existing material. So I actually took a scrap of material that I had kicking around and uh, I can then paste shapes in there and maximize my use of the space so I could come very close to things that are already, have already been cut out. And, and that's just a nice feature. It allows you to maximize the use of, of materials. So you can take material where there's a hole here and there and you, you will know automatically if your job is gonna fit in the remaining space. So 
again, it, uh, thanks to Creality, this is here. Uh, and it is a, a warranted feature that you're gonna want in any kind of pro laser. So I did my standard benchmark tests on this laser, but they unsurprisingly turned out exactly the same as the Falcon 2 because I used the same 40 watt laser module between these two lasers. So output is exactly the same. I did, however, use this laser, the 40 watt version in the previous video I did on engraving scratch acrylic, and I'm showing you the line I engraved here. And this laser works really well for this, even at 40 watts. Uh, this stuff doesn't, doesn't take a whole lot of power, but you can see the result here. Uh, comes out just fantastic. And part of that is certainly the material, the ability to do this, but also the laser itself has to do the right thing. And in this case, the Creality Falcon 2 Pro does exactly what it's supposed to do and the output is great. So all in all, I think the Creality Falcon 2 Pro is a real upgrade from the Falcon 2. I really like the enclosure, though admittedly when I started, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick uh, having that roll top but I came to appreciate it fairly quickly because you can open the, the lid up and, and have pretty ample access to get into the laser. Uh, at the same time, you don't have to worry about uh, opening a, a lid like, a, like you would on say F, an X-Tool S1, where the lid might hit something above it if you have a shelf maybe above your laser. So it just rolls in and you can pretty much stack something right on top of it and not be impacted. I also like the crumb tray. Uh, it's so much nicer than a honeycomb. In a honeycomb, all the bits and pieces that fall out of material get stuck in the honeycomb. And you need to, you need to then go and empty, try and shake out the honeycomb so you're disassembling the workspace. By comparison here, all you really need to do is pull out that tray, take it over to a bin, dump it, and put it back in, and you're ready to go again. Uh, next on the list here, last on the list I'd say of things I really like is the extra engraving module. Yes, it's only 1.6 watts, but when you see the output, the level of detail it's capable of, you're going to want to use it. Now you will have to make a decision uh, if, you're, if you have a project where you're cutting and engraving, you're probably going to have to switch to the 40 watt laser module, but Creality also has a 22 watt laser module, which might be the best of both worlds here, so keep that in mind. Now, there were a couple things I didn't like so much about the Falcon 2 Pro, and not surprisingly, they're the same things I didn't like about the Falcon 2. Number one is the speed. Yes, it's 25,000 millimeters a minute, but when you compare that to, say, a, an X-Tool S1 or, or pretty much any other laser, it's quite slow. Most of the other lasers are at least 36,000, and then if you look at something like the IKEA products, they're 54,000 millimeters a minute, so quite a bit faster, almost, well, more than twice as fast. Uh, and I really think Creality is squandering an opportunity to take a real leadership position here and compete with the likes of X-Tool. Next on the list is still that focus block. I mean, it's 2024 and you shouldn't have to hunt for a, a focus block every time you want to focus your laser. Just put a stick there that you can flip down and focus onto the material. It takes seconds and it's so much better than, than this focus block. But it's not a showstopper. It's just, it, it, it annoys me that in something that's so leading edge as this Falcon 2 Pro, there's this legacy uh, remnant from a day gone by that really shouldn't be there anymore. All right, so now we get down to the ultimate question. Is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro really a pro laser? And I think in my mind, the answer is a definitive maybe. I, I think this, the slower speed, slower than all of its competitors, and the focus block that's a legacy from times gone by, I, I think those things are holding it back from me at least, calling it a pro laser. Having said all that though, I think if you owned one of these, you would not be disappointed. Uh, it does what it says it's gonna do, uh, and there are definitely some features on the pro that aren't on the regular Falcon 2 that I would say you're probably gonna want. So if you're looking at a Falcon 2 now, consider the, the Falcon 2 Pro if you've got the budget because you will like all of the features that are there that are different from the Falcon 2. Anyway, I'll put an affiliate link down below if you do wanna buy one of these and you use that link, you're helping out the channel, which I appreciate. And uh, we'll wind down here, so get out there, make your world, and hey, I hope to see you next time.